better to induct Andrew Johns into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame than his fellow immortal, the King Wally Lewis. It's been a big couple of weeks for you, Andrew. What does it mean to be standing up here with Wally again in the spotlight alongside him? Well, normally when I stand near him in Queensland, they, they, they throw eggs and cans at me, full cans of beer. But uh, it's something different up there in State of Origin time. You've got no idea how much they hate me in Queensland. I don't know why I actually like Queensland, but me and Wally always work it out that when we walk down to the sideline, we walk down together, and he's closer to the crowd, and they, they don't know whether to cheer or boo or throw, so uh, we've got it sorted out. But, you know, Wally's the king. Uh, I grew up watching him play. Uh, I wouldn't say I admired his skills. I was just blown away by what a freakish player he was. He was just, you know, no weaknesses, just one of the best players of all time. And luckily now I get to work with him now on Channel 9, strike up a good friendship with him, and he's a really cool, humble guy, so it's great to know him. You said that when you were made an immortal that you felt unworthy of the honour, but being here and seeing the legends of Australian sport that are in the room, d does it make these achievements kind of sink in and make you feel comfortable with what you've achieved? Not as yet, no, not at all. You know, I, I see Dawn Fraser coming out. Know, not only Dawn Fraser is not a legend of Australian sport, of world sport, and and there's other sportsmen in here. I look around the room and the and the people up on the wall. You know, looking at Cathy Freeman. I was there that night in Sydney. Um, I don't, know how, I, I don't know how to describe it, really. It's, it's such a humbling feeling for myself and my family. Um, but I'm sure as I get older, it'll, it'll sink in. What made you such a great player? I don't know. <laughs> um, is that a loaded question? <laughs> Did um, you feel invincible <laughs> when you were out there um, in battle? Was it you know, a sense of I think of I was power? very lucky. Look, rugby league's a team sport, and in my position, um, I'm one of the showmen who, who takes all the cream off the top of the hard work of the other guys. I'm very lucky to have played in uh, a team. I uh, had so many guys who worked around me, which made me look good. Uh, I, come I, come <laughs> I come through at a, a great time in Newcastle. I, I had some really unbelievable coaching who I'm indebted to forever there. And, um, you know, a lot of hard work. I wasn't the best player when I was young at 14, 15, 16, at 18 or 19, but... I made sacrifices and worked hard and um, eventually got to the top. The individual awards with the three Dalliums, but as you mentioned, team success. Is there one moment that you can pinpoint as being the greatest? Yeah, winning grand finals is without doubt. The winning uh, Dalliums is equivalent of the Brownlow down here. They're great to achieve and when you look back, when you finish, you can sort of look back and um, you know, really enjoy those sort of things. But you play footy to be with your teammates and the camaraderie and, you, and, and how tight you come, become like family. It's, you know, it's an old cliche, but you do become like family. And to win a premiership with your teammates, it uh, doesn't get any better than that. Your brother, Matthew, who's a Fox Sports commentator, has said that he thinks he should be the ninth immortal. It, your it, thoughts on that? <laughs> Mum thought he should be the ninth immoral. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Matthew or one of his other characters he carries on with? <laughs> it must have been fun, though, sharing the journey with, with a sibling. Yeah, it was funny. We lived in... Um, we grew up in a small coal mining town in Cessnock, and uh, we grew up in uh, a small house, and we shared, a, we shared double, bunk, double bunks till he was, what, 19, I was 16, so... <laughs> Is this going to air? I could tell you some <laughs> stories, but... <laughs> um, yeah, it was always interesting. Uh, and look, you know, to chase your dreams in your home, near your hometown in Newcastle and to do it with your brother was pretty special. Well, congratulations on your career and this latest honour for you. You must feel very proud. Thank you very much. Thank you.